everyone. It's not that time, once again. We are a bit behind. Typically I do try to do around 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. However, typically I... Um, well, yesterday I was doing a D&D campaign. Today I was also a part of a D&D campaign. So those are the reasons why I was late. Yesterday, the reason why I didn't show up at all is because a friend of mine was doing a 12-hour stream. And being someone who's done a 9-hour stream, it's not very fun. Especially when you don't get the results that you're looking for. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of a song. Everybody gets lost sometimes, you know. It's how we learn, how we grow. So take a deep breath and let it go. Oh, you shouldn't be drowning on your own. You go through the darkest of days Heaven's a heartbreak away Never let you go Never let me down Oh, it's been a heck of a ride Driving the edge of a knife Never let you go Never let me down I won't let go I'll be your lifeline tonight I won't let go Oh, I'll be your lifeline tonight I used to believe We were burning on the edge of something beautiful Something beautiful Selling a dream Smoking mirrors Keep us waiting on a miracle On a miracle And if you feel You're sinking I will jump right over Into cold, cold water For you And although time May take us into Different places I will still be impatient With you I hope you know Then don't you give up na 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 I won't give up na 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 Let me love you Let me love you Don't you give up na 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 I won't give up na 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 Let me love you Let me love you So come on, come on Save me from a rockin' boat I just want to stay afloat, I'm all alone, I hope, hope, someone's gonna take me home, somewhere I can rest my soul, I need to know, don't you give up, na na na, I don't give up, na na na, let me love you, let me love you, don't you give up, na na na, whoa, I'll be your lifeline tonight, don't you give up, na na na, don't you give up, na na na, I won't let go, so don't you give up, na na na, I won't let go. And that, my friends, is a beautiful thing called a mashup between Cold Water by Justin Bieber, my good friends, and the uh, talented, lovely uh, DJ Snake, it seems. Oh, it's also by Justin Bieber. Let me love you. Hmm. There are a lot of us out there that are struggling, don't know where to turn, 
don't know how to move, how to feel, how to do anything. And I'm not just talking about us that are struggling with depression or other mental illnesses or sicknesses, things that separate us uh, from normal people. I'm here to tell you that there is no normal. There is no set path. There is no average that you need to follow or align yourself with. Everybody's different. Everybody struggles. Everyone has their times. You know, there's never a time in your life that you're going to feel, you know, perfect or comfortable or know what you're doing enough that you're going to be able to completely, you know, knock it out of the park. There will always be times of, you know, stillness, complacency even, maybe. But, you know, these are things that pass in time. What it is, you know, what the true strength is, the ability to blend in and appear normal is the understanding that life is complex it's full of constant shifting elements and events and things that we cannot and will not be prepared for there's no way that we can come to a solid understanding of who we are where we are and be able to promptly and completely you know accept something and overcome it there will never be a time in your life that you will be able to find your solid footing what you need to do is learn how to stay above the waves you know it's not easy there's no right answer there's many ways you know shapes and forms of this understanding that can come one of the best ways is experience you know if you've done enough things you'll know the outcomes most of the time and be able to plan and prepare for them but a lot of it comes with being able to adapt you know you can never build a strong enough empire that you'll be able to overcome whatever life throws at you there's never enough money you know there's never enough land or you know I'm here to tell you that there's no material you know understanding or, you know, there's nothing that you can collect except maybe friends. Friends can and will surprise you with what they know and what they can do in the strangest of times and circumstances. They will, you know, be able to assist and help you and bring you back from the edge. <sighs> Friends and and will you know their their primary you know ability is to bring another you know life into existence you know you you are sharing this plane of existence this this path together 
and you can work through it together. You know, not everybody is great at everything. So that's why it's good to find other people who have strengths where you have weaknesses so that you can help one another. You know, there are plenty of things that you're going to come across that you can't handle on your own. It's just not possible. You, it will be impossible, overwhelming. And that's why you need friends. Because they will help you. They will come alongside you. They will lift you up. They will support you and give you their strength so that you can and will overcome whatever it is that you're dealing with. I um, didn't have any friends growing up. You know, I had people that said that they were my friends, but they were not. They would manipulate and use me in ways that I cared not to go into. But even then, after growing up and progressing and managing to escape from all of that, there are always people that, you know, would surround me, come alongside and, you know, be nice, be respectful, but no one ever really, truly cared what I thought what I said, what I felt, what I did. And they would never, ever help me. They would never see what I was going through. And when I would try to ask for help, I was left with nothing. I know what it's like to be lost, abandoned, left behind, to be consumed and dragged down by the void. I know what it's like to be pulled into that endless nothingness, to be clawing, reaching, crying out for something, anything, and to hear nothing. Like I've said before, by all intents and purposes, I should be a villain. I don't know how I survived, but I should have this overwhelming hatred, but I don't. I would not consider myself uh, a beautiful soul. I'm very much not a lovely person. I have eliminated a lot of the nice and weak things about myself. I am a bland person, a husk, a plain and solid rock. So much has been stripped away that I don't know who I am anymore. I have lost so much and they say Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but that's not true. And they say, if you lose something and you manage to keep going, then you didn't need it to begin with, but it will make you feel like you want to die. If it doesn't let you glow or grow, let it go, but sometimes you want it to be and you're trying to nourish it and it just won't take I am a solid structure that cannot hold any moss though I am static and unmoving the torrent of life blowing me by I am still here. I am still the same person that I am years ago. I 
and like I've said in previous podcasts, I am trying to break out, to change, to attempt to do something different, but it is hard. Sometimes all it takes is a little belief. You know, I I like to say, you know, if I only had one friend, you know, something to, you know, latch on to to give me hope or strength, someone to be important to or to matter, to have some sort of sense of worth, that would be all I need. And that's my problem, is that I keep trying to find something, anything, in each and every person that I come across, and especially in people that I really like or I think are really cool, I try to force them to be what I need, but nothing can fulfill what I need. Nobody can be the friend that I need. But that's the kind of friend that I am. I have lived through all of this. And I don't know why. For the longest time, I wondered, why am I suffering through this? Why am I feeling this? Why, 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 why? But I truly believe that each and every one of us is the way we are for a reason. There has to be a reason why we were born the way we are, the way we think and feel. The things we've experienced that shape us. Why? I have endured so much so that I know what it's like. I know what it's like to suffer alone and I don't want anyone else to have to experience that. I am willing to be that one voice in the darkness. And I may just be one voice. But, you know, even one voice against the thousand can and maybe be enough to help people see that there is something else there is something different there's something you know worth considering other than what they've been told their entire life all that they've ever known there is something else and maybe just maybe I'm not just an outlier I'm not just another voice maybe I'm not lying. Amongst the darkness, I will attempt to be a light. Because even the smallest spark against the black nothingness is blinding. It's not enough to hold on to. It's not enough to pull them out, but it's enough to give hope, an idea of change, something different, something better. You are not alone. No 
matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what's been said or done, there will be a chance, an opportunity, another person out there, some something you haven't experienced yet, maybe could not have thought possible, but it is out there and it's better. It can change you and it will help. As long as you can think of that and allow yourself the opportunity that where you are right here and now is temporary and will become a distant memory in the future. If you can just allow yourself to have the option of not if, but when this is over. You know. A lot of people will say it's the difference between, you know, those who survive and succeed are the ones that had the drive or whatnot. Sometimes you know, those people are only that passionate or, you know, strong because of the experience that they have and the people supporting them. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Um... Oh, that's what I was going to say. It, it's the idea of you've, you've got to think like a winner. But really? What it truly is, is, you know... What the heck? That was weird. Uh, sorry. Uh, shoot, now I've completely lost it. Um, no matter who you are, no matter what's been said or done, there will always be something else, something different. People love you, even if you haven't met them yet. You know, there's something else out there that you just haven't experienced something you couldn't possibly have known about you know sometimes it just takes someone else being there for you to just not be alone in all of this And it's tough. I know. I truly don't believe that I've managed to escape from it. But I am trying. I am breaking out of the monotony, the conformity the casualness and you know ritual I'm not just here to say my life sucks or that life sucks you know and you move on or you get over it but that you can surpass it you can overcome it You know, and it's hard to hear, it's hard to understand, and it's even harder to accept. <sighs> I almost really want to go back in the VOD because I was just about to touch on something really important 
and now I've completely lost it. I just can't think of it. I have endured so much so that I know what it's like. And maybe be enough to help people see that there is something else there is something different there's something you know worth considering other than what they've been told their entire life all that they've ever known there is something else It's something about um, the people that survive, the people that make it, are you know the ones. Oh shoot! I just lost it again. really struggling on what to say now this is kind of bad um, this just sort of goes to show how bad I am at coming up with stuff on the spot I'm only really able to talk about stuff unless I've touched on it before The, um, it's the correlation as opposed to causation, you know. People say that uh, the people with uh, diplomas uh, get more jobs, but it's not the diplomas necessarily that get them the better jobs. It's the people that have the ability and drive to, you know, get a diploma are the people that are strong enough to go get a job basically that was the point that I was trying to touch on briefly before continuing what if I was actually gonna say and then I didn't get to it because I heard a very strange noise that distracted me You know, there there are lots of things that bind us down. 
that keep us from being able to, you know, reach what we need because we think we are what other people say that we are because we trust not because you know they, they are trustworthy but because there has been so much that has bogged us down you know there is so much weight We have been conformed not by our own abilities, but because we have no other option but to accept what the world tells us. But sometimes the world lies. And that may be hard to believe, but it actually happens quite a lot because people need to lie in order to fulfill their own fantasy. And there's no way that we can all get along. There is so much pain out there that forces all of us to act in ways that would not be considered the best. Everybody's hurting, some way or another. But, uh, what I can tell you is that, um, you know, the people out there are also just struggling just as much as the rest of us. And they have their own reasons for doing what they're doing. You know? So I encourage you not to hate or distrust them, but understand that they are also in pain and struggling. The only reason why people put others down is to try with some vain hope to build themselves up. Not to make others feel worse or less than themselves necessarily, but to try and find some sort of control on the world. If they can at least rule you out of the equation by making you fall victim to the rain then they will have some solace in that you know <clears throat> when we interact with people we should always be aware of how we affect other people and how they can affect us sometimes we need to allow them to enter our lives not just for them but sometimes for us sometimes we allow ourselves not to allow ourselves to change, not allow ourselves to be, you know, touched or altered or interacted with by others because we, I, am so worn, distraught, and tender that I cannot handle other people anymore. I have so much distrust and pain that prohibits me from allowing others to affect me. To allow other people to come into my life. To accept them and allow them to be close to me.
And while it's very painful to lose someone, a friend, a loved one, family, a lover, it's better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. If we don't allow ourselves to not just move on, but to continue and try to pursue more, then we will never have gotten the chance to get what we truly needed. If we allow ourselves to fail once and never try again, then we have missed every other opportunity to succeed. I have people who are close to me that I dare call friend, not because of the role that I have allowed them to earn, not because of, you know, the time necessarily spent with them, but because of who they are and I want them in my life. I want them to be special to me, and I hope that I am as special to them. But honestly, truthfully, I am scared, concerned, and unsure how to take care of them. Because everyone is also hiding their pain behind a smile, a song, a status, a profile, a picture. We all have masks. We all have ways of denial, of coping, and allowing ourselves to maybe not stop certainly it won't overcome it but it will hold it at bay at least for now because we just can't handle it anymore and they may not be the best options they may not be the healthiest options but it's something it's all we can do for now And it may seem silly, ridiculous, maybe even foolish, but we still cling to these things still. Try and find some sense of self in it all. But in the end, we're all lost. And we need to find our way. And it's hard. And it may be impossible. But that's why we need friends. Because we cannot make it alone. It requires others to tell us the things about ourselves that we would not have been able to know otherwise. We need someone else to speak out against the world and tell us we are not worthless. We are not ugly. We mean something. We are worth it. And I don't have an answer for you. There's no trick here. There's no shortcut. But I want you to know, whoever you are out there listening to this, and maybe I am speaking into the void here, just nonchalantly spouting words into the endless nothingness. But if there is someone in there, and my words reach you, 
I hope you know that it is possible to get out. You are not alone. You can make it. You have far more strength inside you than you know. And the only reason that I know this is because I too have been there. And I needed someone to save me. I couldn't do it. And I don't know how. But somehow I'm still here. Maybe I'm just better at hiding it. Maybe I've learned how to stop struggling and just accept where I am and float on the surface. I don't know. There are so many words I could say, so much encouragement I could try to give, but honestly, people don't want pity. They don't want or need to hear someone else trying to, you know, throw darts at a dartboard until they hit the right spot. I don't know what it is that you need, how to help you, but I am here and always will be. And there are other people like that in your life. You may not know it. You may not, they may not even exist yet. But they are there. You just have to look for them. And they could be right beside you, also failing, drowning. And maybe you're the one that's barely treading water, but they are sinking. And you have to be the one that reaches out and pulls them above the waves, even just for a moment. Because it's always better to be together, no matter what. Friends fix, solve, make everything better. I have so many people to be thankful for. And there's not enough that I could say to communicate that to them or let them know or help them change them give back enough but I'm still thankful 